Okay, I'm installing Icarus Verilog on this Windows machine. I've already installed Notepad++. And don't need to do that. All right, Icarus, Icarus Verilog for Windows. I want to download the 64-bit version, latest version. Accept, next, next. I Verilog at the C colon prompt, okay. Now it's installing the software that displays the waveforms for the test bench. And it's going to create a shortcut. Desktop icon. OK, do it. Finish. Uh, let's see if there's anything that I can display. Icarus Verilog. It displays this folder in here. Set up, uninstall. So that's the uninstall files. Icon bin has all the executables in it. All right, and there's executables in here. So we want to work with this at the command line prompt. So we're going to have to get those bin files in a path. Let's figure out how to do that. Control panel. Let's see. System. Advanced system settings. Startup settings. Environmental variables. The path command is an environmental variable. There it is. Edit. Okay, and now I need to add a new one. All right, so let's go back and look at these directories. I need C colon iVerilog bin. C colon iLog Verilog bin. Okay, so I'm going to type that in. All right, I need another one. For the this GTK, GTK wave bin. All right. I have log GTK wave slash bin. All right. I'm going to say OK. Say OK. Let's just go back and look at it. Make sure that it's there. Yes. OK. And now I have to reboot the computer. OK, so let's see if it's working. So I'm going to hit um, the Windows key and R and type in CMD. And then I'm going to type iVerilog. Yes. All right. Now let's take the iVerilog compiler and run and simulator and run, do a test run. So I'm downloading this tutorial.zip. Okay, extract all destination folder desktop. Okay. Extract tutorial one. Okay, there we've got some examples. So that's a test and that's the Verilog. Okay, what's it saying here? Now enter a new command prompt and enter the command this. So it wants me to go to the desktop and go to tutorial one. Okay. Change to desktop. Change to um, 246. Change to tutorial one. All right, now what was the command? 
now run this command. And then we cut and paste it here. Control C. And now I um, right mouse click up here, edit, paste, press enter. Okay, nothing happened. Is that what's supposed to go on? If it completes successfully, there will be no output. Good. But a new file, this VPP file, will be created. Let's see, there's a VPP file. There is none right now, so type VIR. Yes, and there's a VPP file. Okay. All right. Now run this command. All right, control C, alt tab, and now I'm going to paste it in here. Edit, paste, control V, should work, okay. Done testing, all right. That's right, now start up the waveform viewer by running this command, GTK wave. GTK wave. All right. No file loaded. Open new tab. Okay, so where's the GTK wave file? File, open new tab, and choose this VPP thing. No file loaded. File, open new tab, uh, VCD, open. All right. Okay, I've got that. Click on the module name up here and select all the trace names and then click append. and click append. There we go. And let's see. Eighty nanoseconds. Let's see if we're seeing what we're supposed to see. Click the magnifying glass with the square in it on the toolbar. Magnifying glass with the square in it on the toolbar. Okay, cool. Well, and we can see it counting. Three, two, let's see. I guess these are, well, it's doing something. Let's see if that's what it's supposed to be doing. Yeah. All right, we did it.